Abilities like Matthew's might come in very handy in our line of work. That's true. Ira agrees. As a matter of fact, he's becoming a little insecure about his job. But look at this. I got a four-page printout this morning entitled Dependable Printed Circuitry Versus Inexplicable Phenomena. Do you believe that? <laughs> oh, he's too much. Now, about your punishment. Punishment? That's right, punishment for staying on an assignment after specific orders not to. Steve, I had to prove that Colonel Decker lied about me, and you know it. Colonel Decker is now Private Decker. As far as your punishment is concerned, I'm sorry, Diana, but I'm going to have to insist. That you take a real vacation. Plane tickets, hotel reservations, and specific orders to have the time of your life. Steve, I don't want to go. Go. Well, there's no suntan lotion in here, and I, and I burn very badly. I don't have anything to read. No, no books. No books. <sighs> no film for my camera. Cute. Well, you want to go with me? When criminals in this world appear and break the laws that they should fear and frighten all who see or hear, the cry goes up both far and near for underdog, underdog, underdog. things were afloat in the city. Give us all your silver coins. Ghosts! Ghosts! It's ghosts! 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 Nonsense! There are no such things as ghosts. There's nothing to be afraid of. Take this. It went through him. Right through him. Ghosts! Since you have interfered, I must lightning jolt you. Hey, can't move! It's ghost did Run it. for your lights! <laughs> Your silver tea set is lovely, Alice. Thank you, dear. Do you have another cup of tea? Give us your silver tea set. Ghosts? How? Ghosts? What is it? What's wrong? It's those ghosts. There are no such things as ghosts. My fist went through them. Ghosts! You have interfered. I shall lightning jolt you. He can't move! Oh, no! <laughs> now we shall take the silver tea set. <laughs> somebody's idea of a joke. Watch this. It went through him. Ghosts! You have interfered. I shall lightning jolt you. Hey, come it's move! It's shock! The ghost did it! And now we shall take your silverware. It's unbelievable. Real ghosts. Someone call Underdog. Call Underdog! You stop the ghost. Send for Underdog. But at that moment, Underdog was in a mighty tussle with huge sharks. <laughs> Weary from this heroic effort, Underdog quickly hurried home to get some needed sleep. What kind of creature can this be who comes in here to waken me? I must have your silver ring. Never. 
The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an underdog super energy pill. You can have the pill, but I must have the silver ring. Give it to me or I shall lightning jolt you. That's what will happen unless I get the ring. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you've got. Here I come, ready or not. The blows I strike have no effect. And this creature is making my room a wreck. The battle raged furiously. Underdog used his rocket speed to dodge the jolts, but his own blows were useless against this enemy. And finally, Underdog was tiring. Yes, Underdog had been lightning jolted, and now the ring which held his super energy pill was being stolen. I must have the silver ring. Meanwhile, only a short distance away, Sweet Polly Purebred was doing a remote telecast. Oh, dear viewers, it's just terrible. All over the city, these ghosts have struck, stealing silver everywhere. No one knows what to do, so we are all searching desperately for Underdog. There he is! Wonderful! Underdog, I'm so glad to see you. Ghosts are striking all over the city. They're stealing silver and... And why don't you say something, Underdog? Why do you just keep standing there? No use trying to talk with him, sweet Polly Purebred. I saw what happened. He even got this picture. Oh, no. Underdog has been lightning jolted by one of those ghosts. What can we do? Maybe if we threw water on him. Oh, yes. Everybody get some water. The water's short-circuiting him. But it isn't waking him. If he keeps on sizzling, he might burn up. Stop Underdog from sizzling. He's our only hope. Sand. Throw sand on him. <laughs> The sizzling stopped, but there's no movement in the sand. Now the ghosts will get us all. Wonder Dog was our only hope. Look! It's moving! The sand is moving! You're all right again. This sand you poured put things in hand. The lightning ran off me into the sand. What about the ghosts, Underdog? Can you stop them? They're all over town. You've got to stop those ghosts. When you call them ghosts, your reasoning fails. The only ghosts are in fairy tales. But I saw the ghosts, Underdog, and one of them lightning jolted you. And they're stealing silver from all over town. Just look at this picture. If that isn't a ghost, what is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah what, what is it, Underdog? Yeah, what is it? Lightning they have, but silver they need. This is a difficult riddle indeed. Quickly, Underdog put his computer brain to work on this strange riddle to determine what these creatures really were. He's got it. I really think he's got it. What are they, Underdog? These ghost-like creatures who frighten crowds are really only men of clouds. Cloud men! He says they're cloud That's men. why they're full of thunder and lightning! And quickly, Underdog told the people about a strange planet millions of miles away. The planet Cumulus, where only cloud men lived. Ruled over by King Cumulus Regulus. Well, why are they stealing silver? Yeah, what do they want silver for? Yeah. I know. I know why they want silver. Every cloud must have a silver lining. Every cloud must have a silver lining. Every cloud must have a silver lining. Look, it's the cloud men. They're all leaving. And they bought our silver. They stole your silver and they stole my ring. I must go to Cumulus and face their king. But you look so weak, Underdog. And you don't have your ring with the super energy pill inside. I'm going to Cumulus with you. Maybe I can help. 
And so the weakened underdog took off with Sweet Polly Purebred. Nevertheless, had taken off with Sweet Polly for the planet Cumulus to get back the silver the cloud men had stolen. But at that very moment, millions of miles away, the cloud men were presenting King Cumulus with the stolen silver. One dozen silver knives and forks and spoons. Throw them in the hopper. More. A silver teapot and a silver tray. Into the hopper. More. Six silver bowls. Into the hopper. One silver ring. Into the hop. Just one silver ring. Yes, and what a time I had getting it. The earthling that owned it was very tough. Ha! Well, throw it in the hopper. Once in the hopper, the pieces of silver slid down a chute and fell into a bin. Then they were scooped up, dumped on the shaking belt, and finally they were dropped into a melter. And when it was melted, the silver was sprayed into the linings of the clouds. Every cloud must have a silver lining. Next. 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 But even all this stolen silver was not enough to give every cloud a silver lining. Everything we've got is gold. Gold chairs, gold tables, gold houses. Nothing but useless gold. The people are getting restless, your majesty. We may have a revolution if we don't have more silver. Your majesty, your majesty, I found it. All the silver we need. Where? Where? In the United States Treasury, the place where they make all their coins. There are tons of silver. Good, good. Call out the army. We'll go down at once and get it. Stop before I give you a whack. We've come to take the silver back. Who is this little droplet who dares talk to King Cumulus Regulus? You'll find out who he is. He's the strongest, bravest, fastest hero in the whole universe. Ha, 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 ha. We'll see how strong he is. Go ahead, underdog. Give it to him. <gasps> you went right through him. Of course, I'm a cloud man. <laughs> now, a lightning jolt you. You big brute, take this, and this, and this. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense! Toss them in the hopper and let us be off for Earth and the silver! Sweet Polly and Underdog had both been lightning jolted. But the cloud men didn't realize that the pile of silver would drain off the electricity which had shocked Underdog and Sweet Polly, leaving them alive but weak. Underdog! Underdog! We're going to be scooped up! My ring. My ring. Your ring has been stolen. Weak. So weak. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the city of Washington, D.C. prepared for attack. What's all the excitement? The clouds, the clouds. Clouds? What's so bad about clouds? What's so bad? Did you ever see clouds in formation? Surrender. Wow, 
Must be those cloud men Underdog was talking about. Where is Underdog? Lightning jolt them! Get that silver! Lightning jolt them! <laughs> Underdog and Sweet Polly were getting closer and closer to the melting pot. Help! 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 My ring, here it is. The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an Underdog Super Energy Pill. Now we must go. In saving the silver, I must not be slow. Where is everybody? Where is King Cumulus Regulus? Here, with all the silver from the treasury of the United States. Stealing things is very wrong. You won't keep that silver long. Who's going to stop me? You little droplet. You tried before, remember? energy now and moving with the speed of light dodged the barrage of lightning jolts underdog dodged closer and closer to king cumulus regulus until at last oh i've been short-circuited i've no more lightning jolts now i'm the one who's in command stop stealing silver i demand but we need silver. All we've got is gold. And every cloud must have a silver lining to be happy. Well, instead of stealing it, why don't you trade gold for it? And that's exactly what King Cumulus Regulus did. He started trading with the Earth, and soon every cloud had a silver lining. And there was peace once again, and once again people looked up and said, Look in the sky, it's a plane! It's a bird! It's a frog! A frog? Not plane, nor bird, nor even frog. It's just little old me. <laughs> Underdog. Underdog.